Here we go. It's been a sports craze day on the first Saturday of May. Sit back and enjoy as it's game two of the North Division Finals. Karan at 201 started the scoring. He's on the ice early and delivers a hit on Colin Felix as the pair of 26s collide. Keating takes a shot that goes wide as we are now underway here from Glens Falls, New York. Puck up into the air into the slot where Palance Felix has the pocket picked. And Keating will center it, but steered away by Tristan Ashbrook, the rookie extraordinaire. Up ahead to Shane Harper. Harper a scratch last night. Toe drag. Harper tries to go to the backhand. He got past McDougal. And then a drive as a kick save by Perez. First minute of play in game one last night was frantic. It was back and forth. High intensity all over the place in the first period, which ended in a 1-1 tie after 20 minutes. How does this one go here tonight? Plays offside as Young brought the puck in past the blue line. Just late cheap shot by Zach Walker. Golder rips it. Saving rebound. Scores! 12 seconds into the power play. Keith Jameson is on the doorstep. Puts it in. And the Admirals strike first with 7.07 left in period one. A man that had 12 red lights during the regular season, Keith Jameson. Watch him lurking on the doorstep as Golder gets the puck in the soft spot. Tried to go short side. It went wide, and Jameson smacks it in. Hard carom right off the boards. Poulter extension with his right pad. Didn't work out. Dave. That was an innocent shot from the right circle. Past the halfway point of period two. Golder. Bolts in over the line, left side, Golder, center shot, kick save! On a terrific one-time feed, Poulter with a left pillow save. There's the vision, and then a nice check by Louis Jean, up ahead, breakaway for Jameson. To make it 2 to nothing. Jameson, save made, rebound, loose puck, he hits the post! Isaac Poulter keeps the game at 1-0, Derek Louis Jean with a crunch. Right at the blue line. That sprung Jameson in all alone. Boy, oh boy, Poulter. Huge save. And that brings the crowd to life. First, here's the chance by Smirnov. Golder just drifted off to the left, and Jameson was looking five hole. He got a rebound and hit that far post. He had Poulter beat on the glove side on that second opportunity. Poulter under a New Jersey Devils contract for a reason. And again, he was 20 plus games in the American League for a reason. Hirano will center it. Get it back. Hirano once more with a little shimmy shake. Line pass into the center. No good as Sargis intercepts. He finds Danny Kadic. Danny along the left circle. Butt hooks. Cycles for Iverson. Nice body check delivered by the Thunder. They're playing good defense here in period two. As are the Admirals. Hirano looks across to Broman. Backdoor scores. <laughs> Travis Broman stepped into the lineup here tonight. He's been very effective here. He gets a big assist to run with a tap, and we're tied at one with 8.30 left in period two. And Hirano gets his third of the postseason. Everybody in this arena, everyone up here thought Travis Broman would just pull the trigger and go nuts. And we see McLean pinch. He was right there on Broman at the last moment, but that's just sensational patience and vision easy tap in for you Shiro Hirano Golder's able to step off that's great patience by Norfolk and off the bench Florette now finds Timo Fib Timo Fib shot scores Timo Fib missed a wide open net three minutes ago that time he doesn't miss club side on Isaac Poulter 2-1 Admirals, 3-0-2 remaining in the second period. Timo Veyev's third goal of the postseason. 
And the fans rain down Boo Birds. As we see the play once again, Fedorik had the puck. Got it up. Touch pass made. And the question becomes, was that too many men on the ice? That's what the fans are frustrated about. It doesn't matter. Norfolk's got a two on lead. Felix Kennan. Ashbrook. Harper. Ashbrook. Wide open. Scores. And Tristan Ashbrook goes blocker side on Yanni Peretz. Lethal in that location. He's got goals at five of six. 2-2 two -two early on in period three. And that's the first goal in the third period of this series as Pete MacArthur gives a pat on the back to Ashbrook. Well, puck movement was a plenty there. And Ashbrook left with that kind of real estate. That's a big no-no for oppositions. Conroy. Now, well, sure. Able to steer the puck into the left wing corner. Keating. Perkatic. Two Admirals lost sticks here. Rano actually lost it. Two Thunder players did. So Karan looks Kadic. Big jar scores! A blast by Danny Kadic. Gloves side on Isaac Poulter. Two Thunder players break sticks, and that becomes the problem. Kadic converts. Second of the postseason. 3 2 adds. And Karan with the wherewithal, the patience, he goes back and finds the trailer, Kubacek. That puck was lodged free, and you'll see as Karan, that stick went off a thunder forward and then smashed by Danny Kadok on the glove hand of Poulter. Look at this, bang. And we got a 3-2 Norfolk lead. Far side now upstairs. Hirano on his forehand. The Admirals certainly want to keep their eyes on him. And a check delivered on to Blake. No call. And then Calder and Blake, those two jostle away at one another. Jameson, meanwhile, passed. McKinnon, Jameson, fakes, tries to go to the backhand with a dangle. And Poulter played the puck off. But the official blew the whistle dead. Hunter Mottinger, number nine, our official, thought that Poulter was freezing the puck. So did everybody else in here except Poulter who played it off, but we get a whistle. 3.42 left in the third. And there's just a few lapses here over the last few games that Adirondack has had defensively. We remember the shorthanded goal that Peterson scored. And right prior to that, Kyle had a breakaway chance for Maine. And we see some moments is where the defenses are just kind of colliding at their own blue lines or their own respective blue lines defensively, and it causes trouble defensively for Adirondack. McKinnon deflected, scores! Dimitri Kuzman with a shot from the left wing point, deflected in by Austin Keating. His fourth of the playoffs. What a deflection. Quality insurance for the rookie, and the Norfolk Admirals have a 4-2 lead. And McKinnon was just watching on in the play as Kuzman got the puck on the left point. Look at this deflection. Gorgeous. Keating has won faceoffs left and right here in these two games. And that is as beautiful of a deflection as we've seen in a long time. He's not to come back. They'll play three home games potentially in a row to try and close out the best team in the Eastern Conference. Faceoff one again by Norfolk. This time they get it to center. They don't shoot to the empty net. They just get it out. 35 seconds left. Young finding Conroy up top. Broman, Conroy, Felix. Try from Conroy. Goes wide off a deflection. 20 seconds to go. 
Kept in by Young. Around Kubacek tries to clear Wall gets the puck. He swats at it down the ice, jumping along to the empty net. Yes! The captain's done it again! The second straight night, he's put the puck into the empty net. This time with 7.1 on the clock and with a little bit more flair this time compared to last night. 